I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and I hope you're excited and ready for Eid because I'm not. Eid is literally 24 hours away and I still don't have an outfit. I mean, certain things have arrived literally yesterday, so I guess I might have an outfit, but until I unbox these items, I don't know if I do. So the original plan was that I'd make an Eid outfit from scratch weeks in advance before Eid. But then I got super busy and I realized I wouldn't have any time, so I was like, you know what? Let me put a pin in this. I can do this another time. For this Eid, I'll figure something else out. Except I never really figured anything else out because I put it at the back of my mind and I completely forgot about it up until about a week ago when Tal asked me if I had my Eid outfit ready and I was just like, <laughs> So the only option I had left was to buy an outfit, but buying an outfit in person was just completely out of the question because I'm sure most of you guys know if you try buying an Eid outfit just before Eid or during the Eid period, any time around then, oh my gosh, they will rob you. Daylight robbery. Like normally you'll be able to get something cute for like £30, £40, maybe even £50 if you want to be fancy, but during like this Eid time period, all outfits will be £250 plus, which is literally insane, but like at the same time, I get it, you're trying to make your coin, I understand, but if I literally walk into the store two days later and I find out that same like 250 outfit is now £50, I'll probably want to cry. But anyway, I didn't want to suffer from that, so I did the next best thing, which was order items on eBay. So I bought tons of things on eBay. I bought bridesmaids dresses, I bought earrings, I bought septum rings, I bought lighting kits, I bought literally everything except for Asian outfits, so I thought, you know, you know what? eBay, you gonna hook me up. I mean, I've never really had a problem with eBay. I've seen videos where people order stuff and it looks completely different in person, but honestly, that's never really happened to me, so I feel like I've had pretty good luck with that, but I guess we'll see what happens today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing three saris from eBay. We're gonna try them on, have a little look-see, and you guys can vote in the comments which one I should wear for Eid. Please pick the least ugly one, if there is an ugly one. I'm hoping there's no ugly ones, but yeah. Let me know which one is your favorite, and then I'll film a little Eid get ready with me on Eid day so you guys can see which one was the final one. Okay, so like I said earlier, I picked up three saris. I picked up one floral sari, one lace sari, and one floral and lace sari. I was kind of feeling the lacy floral vibe, so let's see how they look. Let's just start off with this package over here. As you guys can see, I did like just cut it open at the top just to make sure I'm unboxing the right thing on camera, but I actually haven't seen what is inside. I'm fine. Okay, so this one, ba -bum, this is the cream lace sari. On camera, it looks like not as creamy, but maybe it's the packaging in person. Like the cream's a very yellowy cream. You know what, let me just get out of here. Cause I'm sure this packaging is making some horrible noises. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I'm saying that so weirdly, but like there's some random colors, colored threads in here though. Oh, brown. Okay, so this one was £30, which honestly I feel like it's a pretty decent price for a very nice sari. Like, looking at it right here, I'm just like, oh girl, you're quite cute, you're quite cute. So, I think with this sari, it comes with fabric for a blouse. Ooh, it does. Let's have a look at this. Okay, two pieces. So it comes with some fabric for the blouse, which is actually quite cute. I mean, usually I don't tend to use the fabrics that come with the blouse to make a blouse piece because they're usually like the super crop top, super like short sleeve style. I don't really like that. But what I might do is get like a blouse made with a similar fabric and get them to like attach these little emblems. Emblems? What am I saying? With these like little embroidered patches onto it. Because I feel like that would look cute. Either I'm gonna try and get it done or I'm gonna do it myself. Um, but because Eid is literally 24 hours away, I think with any of these saris, I'm just gonna wear like a black long sleeve top or like a nude long sleeve top under it, which I think will be fine anyway. But yeah, this is quite cute. It's not bad. It smells really, really weird. Like it smells like proper strange, but it looks really nice. I'm genuinely shocked. Like I would totally wear this to a wedding and for 30 pounds, girl, like, okay, I can cut, oh, I guess I spoke a little bit too soon. So the bottom of this, you can tell that they've literally just haphazardly cut around the lace and they bent it using fire so it doesn't fray. So on certain parts, you can sort of see like the fabric curled up and it's gone a little bit black from like the fire. In certain parts, like the lace hasn't been trimmed properly and in certain parts, the threading is literally just coming off. It has these random colored threads going through it. Like you guys can see the sari itself is cream, but all of a sudden, like do you guys see there's like a random black thread here? There's also a hot pink thread over here. I don't know what that's about. A part of me wants to take it out, but a part of me is like, oh god, like, will it literally just take everything apart? So, um, I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe I can take it off. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Maybe I'll just try and trim around it so it's less obvious. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is actually not that bad. I mean, yeah, there's a few hiccups, but it was £30 and it was on eBay, so I can't really complain. But yeah, now it's time to try it on and show you guys what it looks like on. Okay, so quick little update. I just tried this on and did the whole filming wearing it and honestly, ugh, I feel like I've just found more problems. Like, at first, like, you know I told you the edges had like this little burn type thing? It turns out it's not a little bit, they kind of have it everywhere so it's really irritating. Like from far you can't really tell but if you're looking up close you can really notice and it's just kind of annoying. Also in certain areas it's slightly discolored, like, do you can see that? It's just a bit discolored there. Also, like I said earlier, like the cutting around the lace was done really haphazardly, but when you wear it, it's just even more obvious, especially like when you're wrapping it around your body and you're doing the pleats because it's cut so, so unevenly. Like you can literally see like on one side, you can see your petticoat, on the other side, you can't see your petticoat. So like, it's just really, really hard because the star is like all over the place and you can't get like a nice even finish at the bottom. So it's just really, really irritating because like in certain bits I had to tuck in like literally just like a millimeter and in certain other bits I could tuck in like a whole inch and it'd be fine. So that's really annoying. Also at the bottom it does this, which is really weird. So you have all this lace bit and then you just have this. And like the rest of this part of the fabric is actually like just, what is this? two and a half inches, three inches, four, I don't know. Basically, the rest of the fabric, like the rest of this plain net is a lot higher than this, as you can see. And it's just, it just looks dumb because when you're wrapping it around you, you have some parts that are just high and low. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Also, what is this? Like, why is it done like that? So I think if I have to, if I want to wear this properly, I'm going to have to do some serious DIY to this. It's just annoying. I feel like this net is not the kind of net you should be making saris with. And if you are, you need to give a lot more of it because it's so, thin and just there's so little of it that you can literally see my entire petticoat underneath and it's just mm, it ain't cute basically it ain't cute i know in pictures in the video you really can't tell but it's one of those things where in person or up close you can see it and i'm just like whoo it's stress it's stress it's stress so yeah those are just a few things i thought i'd tell you guys about if you're interested in buying this one because I would suggest that you don't. Maybe if, it, if you had like a darker colored one, like a black one, you wouldn't notice all these little problems. You probably would notice the unevenness, but like the thread and like the burnt bits and this, that and the other, I feel like you wouldn't really notice that as much. But, um, the nice cream. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it. But anyway, back on to the video. So that was the first sorry. Now moving on to sorry number two. Let's have a little look-see at this. Not bad, not bad. So this is a second sari. It's a floral sari and this one was 20 pounds and 20 pence, which is I think the cheapest out of all the saris that I bought. And honestly, it's looking quite cute. I think it looks pretty much like the picture that I saw from what I remember. But let's open this and have a little look. So this is what it looks like. I know it looks like a mess right now. I'm just trying to figure out the like heads and tails of this. Okay, so, so, oh God, there's so much fabric, oh my gosh. So this, is the blouse piece that it comes with it's just like plain black material and it's got this sort of um this border and then this weird thing that's not so down yet which is fine um they didn't give a lot of fabric for the blouse i'm assuming against one of those mini blouses but honestly i'm just gonna wear the black long sleeve top so it's fine and plus i can buy loads of black fabric anyway but yeah now onto the actual sari i mean it's quite cute like I'm really, really feeling it. It's like this nice light chiffony type fabric. You know the kind that hijabs are made of? It's like that, so it's quite slippery, so you definitely have to use some like heavy duty pins with this to keep it in place, but I mean, I think it's really cute. The print is really nice. I feel really regal. The border is sewn on decently. Like there's nothing really bad I can say about this. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll buy all my size from eBay because this is really cute. Let's just give you guys a little a little demo. Okay, it doesn't go with what I'm wearing right now, but... Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. So far, I... This is my fave. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. A look. A look. <laughs> okay, I look like a ghost. But I am living for this one. It's my... Okay, this is easily my favourite. 
And to think, people actually go to the stores during Eid time to buy their Eid outfits for like £200 plus, just... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna chill out now because I'm acting like a crazy person. But yeah, now it's time to try it on and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so next up we have our final sari, which I'm assuming is the floral and lace sari. And this one was like, I think, £34 something. So it's like the most expensive of all the saris. Not that much expensive, but it's the priciest out of all of them. Anyway, let's just have a look. So this is what it looks like. Sadly, the bag has ripped as I was pulling it out. Um, but it's really quite cute. I mean, it didn't really look like the picture. In the picture, the flowers were much, much smaller. But I mean... <laughs> it's still very cute it's still very cute so whew, oh boy oh boy okay where do i even begin with this one? Oh god i guess the blouse piece since that piece is right here Ooh, they give so much fabric oh my gosh so what wait how much did they give okay so they gave literally tons there's loads of fabric, so I can make a blouse with this fabric. Oh my god, thank you so much. In the picture, they actually styled this with a sequin blouse, which I believe is also here. So this is like the original blouse they gave. Can you see? It's like a little, um, like a little vest top type thing. And it's like cropped and sequined. And honestly, it's really cute, but um, like I said, I'm not gonna be wearing some tiny itty bitty piece because I don't wanna layer when it comes to saris. You got a lot of layers already going on, so. I think maybe I'll either use the black fabric they gave to make a blouse or I think I'm gonna buy some sparkly material like this and make a long sleeve blouse out of that. Actually, now thinking about it, there is so much black fabric here and even judging by the length, the length matches perfectly to the sari. So I'm actually thinking that this might be like sari to make a, ugh. I feel like this might be material to make a petticoat, which is quite nice that they're given like all the fabric for literally everything that you need. It's like a nice shiny black which would look really nice as a petticoat because it just like sparkle and shine under the net. Ooh la la, it look very, very chic, very chic. Anyway, let's look at the sari because honestly, I am loving it. Absolutely stunning, like I'm just, wow. So the part that goes like over your shoulder and like over your arm, like you drape it, is this part right here. It's got loads and loads of embroidered flowers on it. It's got a lovely little border as you guys can see. And it's also got like a little bit of like this glittery fabric over here which I feel like just makes it look a bit more expensive um which is really cute and then as like the sari goes on it's got like the flower bit at the bottom and then it's like plain Ooh. okay I'm feeling this I feel like classy and sophisticated like if I was a South Asian spy like if I was in James Bond or something I feel like ooh, 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 pow oh I love it I love it okay this this is really, really nice. I, oof, oof, ah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so this is super cute. I'm literally in love with this. And quality-wise, it's pretty good. I mean, it's got a few loose threads, but literally everything you buy has loose threads. Besides from that, it's really, really nice. Like, I'm genuinely so shocked that I like it. Just, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Now show you guys what it looks like on. guys those are all my saris now it comes down to the choice of which one to wear on Eid because honestly I can't decide like at first I thought it was like the light floral one but then I saw the black one that's like oh my god so I don't know so guys let me know in the comments which one I should wear for Eid and the morning of Eid I'll check the results and wear the one that you guys have chosen I'll also do a little vote on Instagram when this video goes up so you guys can vote on that as well also if you are interested in saris I showed in this video I will link them all down below as well as on my blog so you guys can go check that out from what I saw like the cream lace sari they had tons of those in loads of different colors like they had loads of options for you to choose from 
Um, the black sari and like the other floral sari, I only saw one of them, but I'll double check the stores and if they do have more of them, I will definitely link them down below. I'll try and link you to these exact sellers because obviously I don't know how the items will look from other sellers. So hopefully there is some luck for you guys if you guys are interested in any of these. But yeah guys, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that little notification button because I know for some reason even though people subscribe, they don't share the videos with everyone. It's annoying as hell, but what to do? you know but yeah also leave a comment down below letting me know which one you think i should wear on eve and remember you guys can follow me on instagram snapchat twitter facebook all that good stuff at simon smiles like i'll be posting loads of cool pictures from eve and other pictures of me styling these pieces so make sure you guys check those out but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it was helpful for you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye